Sea Harriers are equipped with the big Sea Eagle anti-ship missile. This large missile had a range of over 70 miles and was radar capable. The internal radar was located in the missile's nose. Only the large carriers were able to withstand the explosive power of the Sea Eagle. The Sea Harriers were also fitted with the devastating two-inch rockets. This is a demonstration of a training exercise on a towed target. These rockets could be launched 72 at a time from two pod launchers. This weapon was used extensively in the Falklands campaign. The Sea Harrier also carried the short to medium version of the Sidewinder air-to-air missile. The missile could dispatch an enemy at a range of about eight miles. Toss bombing and horizontal laydown bombing was also possible with the Sea Harrier. Another of the Harrier's weaponry that was used in the Falklands campaign is the BL-75 cluster bomb dispenser. These are ideal weapons to take out airfields. Today, the Harrier GR-7As, part of the Joint Force Harrier, based at RAF Cotsmoor, have been deployed in Afghanistan since September 2004. They have been constantly engaged in supporting the International Security Assistance Force in rebuilding Afghanistan. Both naval and maritime groups of the Harriers of No. 3 Squadron operate from Canada Air Base in one of the most hostile environments in this war-torn barren province. The squadron maintains crews at 30 minutes notice to launch throughout the daylight hours to fly in support of coalition forces. The insurgent and anti-government forces operate in the towns and remote mountainous regions in the southern provinces and along the Pakistani border. The Harrier GR-7A carries enhanced paveway projection guided bombs, rockets and Maverick missiles, as well as numerous sensors and defensive flares. However, it is testament to the resolve of the crews and physical presence of such a capable aircraft that they only had to resort to deploying munitions on less than 14 operations. The Harriers frequently support pre-planned missions against the insurgents. US Army troops who have been ambushed in this most hostile of environments regularly contact the Harrier crews to thank them for their outstanding support. The deployed operating base accommodates approximately 5,000 coalition forces. The overall British attachment has six Harrier GR-7As and a total of around 180 personnel. The base is 3,300 feet above sea level, which also presents the aircraft with performance issues and coupled with high winds and dust makes the aircraft engineer's life extremely difficult. The US forces are slowly rebuilding the runway, but currently the Harrier is the only fast jet fighter that is able to operate in these conditions and is the sole asset readily available to support coalition troops on the ground. Often there is less than 3,500 feet of runway available from which to operate. And even this regularly breaks up with the force of the Harrier's powerful Rolls-Royce Pegasus engines. Join us again next time for when we set sail again on a voyage of adventure aboard Sea Power.